Welcome back to another episode. Uh, I'm very excited today because I'm back with this man. Hello! James, uh, who you might remember from our first, I hope you remember, my first uh, video where I was talking about what car I'd get. You were, um, you were pondering. I was pondering. Obviously I got to the decision, uh, came to the decision, bought the C63S. Good which choice. I'm very, which I'm very pleased with, I'm loving it. Um, we're not here today to talk about my car though, we're here nope. to talk about your car because uh, in the meantime, James has gone out and bought an absolute monster. Uh, probably one of the best cars on the road, definitely one of the fastest cars on the road. Should yeah, we show them what you got? Here's a clue. Here's a clue. Here's a little clue. Mate. My dream car, actually. Is it your dream car? Well, I guess if I was a dream car, then I've always wanted one of these, so I need to scratch the itch. You've had some nice cars, to be fair. You've had the Huracan, you've had... 488. 488, that was, that was amazing. If you Stealth haven't seen this 488, go and have a look. It's on Tom's channel, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. Stealth, stealthy beast, that was. That was a, a head turner, yeah. Yeah, head turner. Uh, you had the SPR, which you were chatting in. Yep. That's gone now, isn't it? Yeah, I sold that, I sold that. That was a winter car. Winter Perfect. car, it's summertime now. Got to be more aggressive in the summer. Right, come on, let's show you anyway. Yeah. Let's show you what it is. Right, so now you've all seen it, um, you may have noticed it's a 911 uh, Turbo S, an absolute monster of one as well. And this is the um, PDK one, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. You can't it's actually get this shape in manual anymore, I don't think. You can do you not? Not this shape. The older ones came in manual, yeah. this one uh, also, which is good because I don't think they'll be quick enough to change the No, that's true actually. Yeah, what is <laughs> the my clutch will be What's the Nautilus 6 supposed to be? I then? think they're 2.9, but most people say about 2.7 realistically. Paul Shaw is under quote. Stupid. That is like stupid. stupid. Yeah. I, you know, my 63 is like 3.7. That feels pretty quick. This, I can't wait to see how quick it is. Actually. Yeah, you haven't been there quick, have you? Just pooled no. through where we are. We've just pooled through to this point. So I genuinely have not seen how quick this is. And I haven't been. I've never been a 911 to worse, actually. Never been wait, wait until you experience one and you'll see what the hype's about. Yeah, it's worth it. I'm not going to let you know. I'm so, I'm so excited. Mm -hmm. Let's have a little look around. Talk me through the, the spec of this thing then. So it's a 991.2 Turbo S, so it's the latest shape that's currently out. Um, they have released a 992, but I don't think the Turbo S model was out till 2020, which made me want to get this. I'm not waiting that. Yeah, that's a long time End to of wait. 2020, so we're talking nearly two years. Yeah, yeah. Um, anyway, uh, it's all black, so it's metallic black, metallic black wheels or gloss black wheels, which I think just set it off nicely. Ceramic brakes as standard. Yeah, exactly. But more importantly, it's got the aero kit, which is right at the front here. You've got the aero kit here, which yeah. is, just makes it a little bit beefier. Makes such a difference actually, doesn't it? You've got the uh, pop-out apron at the bottom, which says Turbo S on the bottom. A lot of people love the 911s, but some people accuse them of being a little bit like boring sometimes and maybe yeah, not having yeah, the yeah. spec right. But like, you've absolutely nailed the spec on this. Mm. So I love like kind of the blacked out look. Yellow um, theme, yeah, exactly. Yellow and black is really the theme of the, of the whole car. I suppose the key options it's got, which is what you need. It's got the aero kit, so yeah. then you can see that from here. It's got yeah. the extra fin. Um, it's got model delete here, which I quite like. It just says 911 on the back. It hasn't got a big Turbo S badge all over it. I absolutely love that. See, with my, my C63, obviously, it's got a lot of the kind of chrome. And it's got all like the badging. I actually just want to, like I said in my video, I really want to black that all out. I'm in the process yeah, yeah, yeah. of sorting that, I, I think. I think you should, because it just makes it a, a bit more streamlined. Black tips as well. And then inside, I think that's probably where it comes into its own. Yeah. Let's have a look really inside. Nuts on these. They don't yes. really come with a roof. For me, I might as well get a Targa if it doesn't have the you roof. Got to, you got to get your hand yeah, through there, haven't you? It's a real roof. Yeah, exactly. We're in. Look, everyone's. Uh, yeah, there we go. We'll have and that then, uh, room. Inside's where it really comes into its own. So look at that seat belt. So you've got. So simple. Well, look at that. A yellow seat belt. You're just winning with that, aren't you? Uh, carbon interior sills. These are lit at night with Turbo S on them, which is a nice touch. Again, optional extra. Interior carbon right here. Very rare option, very few. I've not seen another for sale at the moment anyway with a carbon steering wheel option. Yeah. You've got the fixed buckets, the carbon buckets, back buckets oh, again. That. And that again is very Just proving rare. it's real. It and is you carbon. You don't really get that in many cars. And then you've got the yellow dials in there as well, just to complement the, the theme the whole way through. So in yeah, terms of spec, it. and it's got the Burmeister sound system, which yeah. is an upgraded one as well. So in terms of spec, not just blowing my own trunk yeah. because I've waited for the right car. Yeah. Again, big shout out to Dean. Yeah, you know of course, well. mate. We love Dean. On the channel, but he is actually genuinely a champion. He is a champion. We've been looking at one of these for years. We've been so impressed with Dean. He's looked after us really well. And I, I think as I know him through like you guys' yeah, yeah, channels, yeah. we yeah. such a legend. And he's absolutely nailed it with this. Because how long was he looking? How long was he looking for? He somehow found this. We gave him an ultimate for Monaco in about 
two weeks. So two weeks ago. Yeah, but I've been looking for years and I still hadn't seen another one come on and I look relentlessly yeah. at cars because I'm boring, but that's yeah. what I do. So you have yeah. to keep Do you know what it reminds me? Obviously it's not the same, but my um, I had an F-Type S and I looked for Asian ages and I wanted the kind of black um, blacked out kind of yeah. look and I had that the exterior that the alloys were all black, interior yeah. everything just with red stitching, that was the only thing. You just got to get the right. If you get the right spec on cars, it makes such. Make difference. or break. Yeah, you can have some cars that are amazing, look horrendous. Because yeah. honestly, in all honesty, I've seen quite a lot of 911 Turbo S's on the road. I've never I'm seen one like this. No, you won't. But I've never seen one of this spec though. No. It's, it's just amazing. Anyway, should we go and jump in? Yeah, the, the, the real fun's to come. Yeah, exactly. I'm yeah, so yeah, excited to see how quick this is. That. It's going to be a bit scary. Wow. Right, we're in. We're in the 25 car. 25 and a half degrees. There we go. Yeah. Sunroof open. It's very, very nice. It's quite nice to be in a, an environment where we can't go quickly at the moment because we can have a civilised conversation. Yeah, we are just cruising at the moment. This is this is what you can do with a Porsche. You've got a few options. We're, just, we're displaying all the options of the Porsche. You can yeah. buy one and just cruise around in quiet mode. So this is in drive at the moment, and if I put it into sport, it comes alive a little bit. It gets a bit... It's just menacing, isn't it? Yeah, no, but seriously, that's... Porsche, do we wave? Yeah, exactly, yeah, Porsche, got to wave. Yeah, yeah. you love that. Oh, yeah, that, that, yeah. Riff. Yes, you love that, yeah, you love that. That's another thing about Porsche, another one civilised owner to another. I you waved and he gave me a whoop, whoop. They all wave. <laughs> if you wave at drivers normally, they'll give you, you give the middle finger. Yeah. He actually enjoyed it. He saw you and he nodded and he, he really waved enjoyed back. it. And he was in non-hooligan mode. He was being quite civilised as well to the dip. You're just civilised. Porsche yeah. owners are civilised, clearly. Apart from Archie, maybe. Yeah, he's less than civilized. He's less. He's uncouth. He's, he's got he's got the GT version. That's not that's nothing civilized. No, and his bright purple was rude. How yeah. the hell do they do not sixty in the time do? Because um, the, the, what's the horsepower on these? Uh, they are five eighty. Five eighty. So that's that's a lot of horsepower. It's a lot of power to get down on the ground. How do they get it down to shoot to not sixty? Four wheel drive and just Porsche. The gearbox is just the, the PDK box is such quick shifts. The traction is just every bit of power pretty much goes to the wheels. Because people do say that if you're going to buy a driver's car, buy a Porsche because they act, you could, they literally like every horsepower, every brake horse is, is actually utilised. Yeah, there's the car. plenty of cars that probably are very powerful. Four eight was one actually. Was it? Extremely powerful. Well, but you can get it down. Does, but you've got to have your wits about you. You've got to be ready and As in, and try and throw it Trying to impress someone too much and you're dead. Sort of thing. Whereas four wheel drive giving you gives you that extra little bit of confidence just that yeah. you can be a little bit more heavy footed or not be the best driver and get a bit more. Yeah, well that's freedom that's, and that's actually the thing that shot me about the um C sixty three is that oh, it yeah. actually if it's honestly, if you breathe too heavily and you get a little bit of condensation on the road. That's it. You're off. You cannot. You, you're facing the opposite direction to yeah. travel. It's actually even in the genuinely even in the dry, all traction on, nothing being silly. It's yeah. still just it's, it's a monster. Side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are. Do you think you can daily these? Yeah, hundred percent. You can. I don't right. enjoy the driving, just the mundane drive, so I don't daily it. Yeah. But you can. Yeah, yeah. You've got your golf. Yeah, I've got a golf GTI just to run around. It's perfect. Um, it's quite nice to have your sports car on the side because then, because then when you're driving, you're not doing it like as you're trying to get to work. It's yeah, actually like now, you value we're going it. out and enjoy it's a nice day. We're out mm. in the car and you're just gonna enjoy it. You value it a lot more. I agree. So, golf I use a little bit and I just cycle all week most of the time. Save me time, effort, and money. You do so. Cycle ever, mate. You do Love cycle it. Keeps me fit. Well, I'm starting. I'm starting cycling as well now because I'm doing a cycle to in in, in India for Team Tonight um, for the cancer charity to oh, raise money yeah, and yeah, stuff. Yeah. So. Can you hear the turbos? <laughs> you can see them. Kind of a little bit, yeah. It's hard. I don't know if you'll pick it up on the on the GoPro. <laughs> you know, this has a high loud, we can't be loud. <laughs> so close! I actually, I want to can't say it's YouTube, I can't swear, but oh my god! I didn't have much lunch. Oh my oh. goodness, mate, that is so fast. I've got cramp. Cramp, I was horrendous. <laughs> if you could have seen it, good job wearing sunglasses. It's going to be white, white, white well, I just eyes. Got stomach cramp. That was insane. Oh. It gets you every time. My God, that is so fast. It's, honestly, it's I have never been anything so oh, quick in my life. in a bad place. Need to, well, you know what to do, cramp. Just whack it. Yeah, just whack it. <laughs> mate, everything just turned into like hyper mode. It just went. It does. Oh my. 
cold. Is, are we doing it again? Are we doing it? My goodness! I love it! Ow! <laughs> It's worth it just to see your ah. face. Oh my goodness. You, I don't know what they think of it. Do they like it? No, they don't like it. He loves these smiling Oh! <laughs> 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 oh my. Did you used to play the drum? Did you like it? You signed no, that one? Mate, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a cosmo drum. Mate. That I'm woman had a newborn baby, not, so I was polite around her. Have you not seen me dancing on Love Island? Mate, I got rhythm, man. Oh, oh you want the program money? That's where I recognise yeah, you yeah. from. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'll have to get a photo with you. Oh my god. It's the turbos as well. Oh, he's on the wrong side of the road. Let's try the road. Off you get. <laughs> so people who say that 911 to Wesses can't be loud and exciting and they're boring, you are wrong. You are so ill-advised. Ill-advised. This has got a wrong. quicksilver exhaust. That's why it's loud. It's got the quick. That's why. It's from, so a, loud. from a start, put your head back before you get well okay, done. Okay, this guy. <laughs> Every single time. Hey, that's ridiculous. Right, let's turn the exhaust off. Let's and what we're going to go for now, we're going to peep and creep and push pull. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we're going to do that. Peep and creep, let's go. Right, okay, you might have guessed it's not a standard exhaust system on this. No, it's not. So you put a quicksilver exhaust, uh -huh. right? Yep, a quicksilver right. exhaust system. However, there's one thing this car did lack, which it now doesn't. Obviously, it's the noise, what we, which we've discussed. Without that noise, I'm not just saying it, the car is very, very, very understated. Understated, yeah. And, it, and I, I'm not just saying it, it is extremely quiet. Yeah. Is it's it, just is a whistle. It, is it too quiet standard for you? It's so quiet, I didn't drive it until I got the exhaust, because it would have annoyed me. Because you'd have been So like, I bought it from Redline, it? from Dean, and I sent it straight to Quicksilver, or to DMS Automotive, who fitted the exhaust for me, to have it fitted before I took collection. Well, guys, whoever... Because well, it makes or breaks... DMS yeah. Automotive, you absolutely nailed it, because this... It makes or breaks a car, though. And honestly, it's one of the best sounding exhaust I have ever heard, and like Porsche apparently don't do nice exhausts. Well, I love those. Have you Porsche been something quicker than this? Good. That's the question. I have never, I can honestly say this, people. I have actually been in some quick cars. I went in the Aventador SV, which is obviously quick. Yes, This yeah. is quicker, mate. So I think it's fair to say, people, uh, 911 Turbo S's are not boring, and if you do think they're a bit quiet, it, it, there is a solution. So stick a ridiculous exhaust Yeah, on just it. put an exhaust on it, but the, the beauty is when you're in drive mode, we've got like a little... Uh, I forget what it's called, it's like called a, a magneto or something here. A but didgeridoo. When you yeah. turn it, you can have civilized or you can have rude. But I'm still, I'm honestly, I'm, I'm shaking from that. Like, that is ridiculous. <laughs> Thing is, you can't, on like YouTube and videos, you can't fully, you can see. No, you can't. You can't feel it. Can't. That is, honestly, I've been in some quick cars, I've been in the Aventador SV, I mean, the C63S is no slouch. This thing would, makes that look like it's... I don't even it's know It's hard what, to mate. explain. It's hard to explain. It's the way, it's the way this shifts the power. There's no like it's down go and it's just you just like it's like taking off. I'm relenting. Like it doesn't it doesn't stop. Does it stop like over hundred? Like does it ever stop? Uh, on, I did. I had it on a um, runway. On a runway, yeah. And and there's no difference. It just From zero to sixty runway, to yeah. sixty to hundred to whatever. Yeah. It just doesn't stop. I'm still shaking. Um, I've got out of the car um, because basically I want you to hear what it sounds like as a drive-by and just see how quick things this, this thing shifts. Again, we're on private roads, so we're absolutely fine here as we are. We're not breaking any rules, etc. I hope you can enjoy this. This thing is ridiculous. Oh my God. My goodness, that is actually ridiculous. What a noise. Anyone who says that 911 Turbo S can't be exciting, that they're boring, stick an exhaust on it, that's what you get. Oh my God. And I'm sorry, I know people are gonna be like, you're repeating yourself. I'm literally shaking and baffled. I don't know what to say. I actually don't know what to say of any sense right now, except I love that car and I want one. Here he is. 
My goodness, mate. Can I have a little listen out the back? Yeah, go to the back, lad. Have a little listen. Oh, we'll have a little listen. All right, hang on then. <laughs> Well, it's not very quiet, is it? No. <laughs> it's not very sensible, is it? <laughs> that is absolutely ridiculous. What, a, what an absolute monster. So uh, I've actually been speaking a bit to uh, Quicksilver because uh, I'm actually really tempted for my own car to put uh, an exhaust. Obviously, the C6 dress is loud, but I just think it could have a bit some more rasps and stuff. Yeah, it can, it can. So um, obviously, I don't want to do anything to the warranty that'll cause any issues. Yeah, of course. But if I do a cat back, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. So I'm thinking like, and that'll give it some rasps and stuff, yeah. won't it? Yeah, yeah. They can do with a little tinker. AMG know how to make a noise, but there's all, I mean, no car can do that an exhaust. No. That's, that's a fact, isn't it? So yeah, no, no, um, no stock exhaust is ever as good as no, 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 like no. a really good specialist exhaust. Yeah, they? Quicksilver are good. They know what they're doing. Like, they, they know, know they know what they're doing. They've done quite a few exhausts for different guys on YouTube. And actually, they've like, done Tom Daston exhaust. It sounds good. Just sounds so good, doesn't it? I mean, you sold the 488. You had the SVR. Why? I know you said this is your dream car. Why? Why is this your dream car and what else could you bought like for the money? So this is around 135 grand. Yep. Uh, it's quite a late model, so end of the Turbo S price range is a little bit upper end. Yeah. Well not upper end, like mid to upper end. Um, but spec for me is everything on this. Yeah. Like it has to have the right spec or I'm just not interested. Um, and Porsches are quite important, like that spec's everything when you're yeah. gonna resell it, so that's important. But anyway, um, mate, for the reasons why when we just went out in the car, why did I want one of these? I think it's answered itself just People don't appreciate what a car this is yeah. because it isn't in a Lambo body or a Ferrari or a yeah. supercar body. Yeah, yeah. This is a supercar, and yeah. I'll argue yeah. with anyone about it. Yeah, yeah. But then again, it hasn't got the stresses and strains. No. Service intervals every two years. That's Reasonable right. service prices. That's all right. Porsche renowned for build quality. None of this Italian drama and flair. No, where yeah, yeah. It doesn't want to get up you know in the morning. It's gonna, you know, yeah, you know Porsche can be you right. Don't use it for for a month. It's starting. It'll it's start, not going to trickle charge. Try, yeah. Um, you don't have to put the nose lift up to go over a speed. It just does everything. You get in it, your Bluetooth connects. Because some people do say this is not a supercar, it's a sports car, isn't it? Mm. And I'm just like, I think I'm the, with you. I think I'm the view of it, like, from the outside, when you look at it, yeah. because this, this a 911's a sports car. Anyway. This one does, Yeah. but standard 911 probably could be a, it is, yeah. but 911 yeah, is a sports, sports car. car. Yeah, but they've, you know, and it's but when you turn the performance, I, I think but performance alone in this puts that bracket. Any car that's it's, it's sub three thing. seconds is not a sports car. It yeah, is a supercar. Super, car. It's super performance. Why the cars are in that territory? Super, yeah, <laughs> super ability. Well, you could argue argue the Avenza SV is pretty much a hypercar. It's not far yeah, off, is yeah, it? Yeah. Like, I mean, is, is it entering that bracket? This will of give car? all of those a shake on a runway. So what else could you've had in that price? So 120 so you could be looking at yeah, Aston, there's a couple of Astons in there, so, yeah, DB11 that's Van come down a bit yeah, of money. DB11 easily, Vanquish, something like that. Uh, Vanquish is good, those are nice. It's R8, hard. spec to R8. Yeah, R8 V10 plus easily, yeah. but I've done Hurricane before. I could yeah. probably at 135 get a Hurricane now. Yeah, they're coming down now. They were setting a 155-ish, yeah. but now they're coming on 130, Might be a bit optimistic, but still, yeah, I just yeah. don't want a servicing cost of two grand a service and all that jazz. If I don't need it, I've what, been what there, I've done that. What is the service cost of this? About five, six hundred quid. Hey, Unless bad. it's a big service, nine hundred or something, but still we're not yeah, a minor Lambo service is two grand. Mate, that's that's so good. Mm. That's actually amazing. I'm surprised by that. What then else? It's GT Porsche, Porsche GT product. So yeah. Porsche GT three, similar price, maybe ten grand, fifteen. What's grand. the diff what so I feel like the people who generally buy nine eleven turbo S's don't often they, you either go one way or the other. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? People tend to go this around. Is a because of the spec, it's got bucket seats and stuff, so it's yeah. not. Some Turbo S's are quite comfort specs, so it's just comfort seats and yeah. stuff. But this is kind of ticking all the boxes. For me, it's a load more powerful than a, than yeah. a GT3. It's quick, that's the weird thing. It's, it's way quicker. Yeah. Um, standard, it sounds a lot worse, this car, obviously, than a GT3. And GT products sound amazing. They've still got totally different noises, but this is just as loud, if not louder, than a GT3 yeah. now. Yeah. With totally different noises. Yes, it's not normally aspirated, but. It's got the power, it's got the pace, and it's got the comfort as well. It's not got the roll cage. It's got this, four seats, for goodness sake. Like, this is going to be quicker than the GT3 RS, yeah, though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is yeah, yeah, yeah. RS. So you, you've got to and people might argue RS, around the track, it's, you know, like, the, the th but I don't track my cars. So yeah. for me and for what I use it for, this ticks more boxes than I can imagine. And just get up and go. And it's more comfortable ride than than the harder GT product, yeah. where you kind of every bump's a real issue. I, I've always loved Porsche like 911s, but I was like, I don't know at the moment whether I'd buy one. It's actually made me think, oh my gosh, I would actually love a Turbo S. This yeah, is this isn't my first, I had a Porsche 911 GTS um, before they turned which to turbocharged. Which, which are good cars Amazing well. car. Which are good car, GTS. And I'd never had a Porsche car. before, and a bit like you, I was like, oh, what's, what's this buzz about? I don't, I'd actually bought an AMG GT, this is going back about three, four, yeah. four years ago probably. Bought an AMG GT, deposit on it, and uh, this 911 GTS came up at a really good price, and everyone that I knew that was into cars was like, no brainer, 
go Porsche. That go, and I, was, I just didn't get the whole Porsche thing at all. Bought that from the moment I had that car to the moment I sold it, and I still regret selling it. And it's gone up in value since I sold it. Like oh, you couldn't. No. And that is something worth saying about Porsche. Actually, residual values very strong. Very strong. They and the so market strong. on Porsches is more stable than a lot of other companies, yeah. I think. Anyway, so if you look at Turbo S prices over the last say ten years, GT cars over the last ten years, you could pretty much predict. Yeah. And because you the older traffic, models yeah, start yeah. coming back up in yeah. price. There's a ceiling below which they don't often fall because they don't normally fall. Yeah. So past that, they yeah, past the exactly. Models, so yeah. you're normally quite able. compared to like, for example, like other brands, they do they're much more. I don't more know. I take a Performante, they? which is oh my God. you know two fifty two oh fifty off the shelf, something like that, and they're they're selling at two hundred k. Yeah. And, and that's that's retail to yeah. it. So yeah. people are getting one eighty back yeah. using 60, 70 grand. Mate, I've absolutely loved coming out on this thing. Yeah, no, it's um, good to have you in it. I've, I've been looking forward for weeks now to coming in. Yeah. So thank you so much for coming on my channel, right. bringing your incredible Porsche. And we've definitely proved that I think Porsches can be very exciting. Check out um, James's channel. He's launching one very, very soon. It's not out there yet. Uh, when he does, I will let you know. Uh, but I have no doubt it's going to be insane. Well, even, even with this. You'll be on exciting. it. You'll yeah. be on it, lad. I'll be in. So, mate, yeah. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Uh, let me know what you think. Jump in the comments, subscribe if you haven't, and there'll be lots more videos coming soon. So take care, over and out.